In this video, I'm ranking every katana in Elden Ring from worst to best. And this is based on the current version of Elden Ring in 2023, which is patch 1.09. But make sure you guys leave me a like on this video since it helps me out so much. And look how close I am to 100k subs, so if you're new here, I would seriously appreciate your sub. With all that said, my name is Prez, and let's begin. At number 8, I have the Meteoric Ore Blade. Now I know to some of you, this seriously might be a shock, but this weapon's Ash to War, in my opinion, just makes the weapon worse. Dragging enemies closer doesn't always work as good as you would want it to, and other than its Ash War, this weapon is just kind of mid. It does have a very nice overhead attack, which is its charged heavy and added bleed buildup, but I just don't feel like the weapon is as good as the rest. So at number 7, I have the Serpent Bone Blade. This weapon has a super cool look to it and can be buffed in a good poison build. Since it stacks poison and this weapon can be buffed, I'd say it works better for boss fights than the Ore Blade, but it still gets beat out by the rest of the katanas, so in my opinion, these are just simply the worst two choices. At number 6, we're now stepping into the good katanas, so this is where our ranking might get a little weird but at number six i have the dragon scale blade since you can add lightning to this weapon you can build this weapon around a good lightning dex build and this weapon can work really well in it and i'd say this is a pretty slept on weapon in this game and more people definitely need to try this one out it's actually work and bind lightning to the weapon giving it even more damage so you definitely should try this weapon out if you haven't already it's a really good choice but it falls short of being as good as number five which is the uchi katana and i know some people absolutely love this weapon and might be screaming at their screen right now and i do seriously see why people love this weapon not only in this game but in the other souls games too and since it's ranked so low it doesn't mean i'm saying the weapon is bad its competition in this game is just so good it's hard to rank it higher but this is just a standard katana that is ridiculously versatile and can be used in a lot of different ways though it lacks the very overpowered nature of the rest of the katanas unless you power stance it and have blood affinities on both maybe that would be insanely good i don't know but at number four i have the nagakiba everything i said about the uji katana but this one is just longer i think this weapon would always get ranked higher than the uji katana just because of the longer range it's always going to be nice so i guess that means size does matter at number three i have the hand of melania maybe i've just spent the least amount of time using this one but i just don't prefer it over the other ones i feel like the ash war times is kind of janky and can make you miss a lot but it does have really nice range and damage and blood stack so it's definitely a good choice at number two i have the moon veil in a battle between the two best katanas i just can't remember a time moon veil was ever better the original version of moon veil in the first update to the game definitely was broken using its ash war on bosses just would stagger them in two hits and this would happen almost every single time which was completely nuts and broken but this has since led to its patch which just made the weapon balanced and though it was completely overpowered back then at the same time rivers of blood also was completely overpowered so it's hard to say what was better or worse then but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and say rivers of blood is the best katana in elden ring which leaves it at the number one spot and yeah i don't know what i'm supposed to say about the weapon you guys are definitely aware of what the rivers of blood is capable of in this game the blood stack on its ash war is still completely broken i don't know how they'd ever really take it away because if they do they just nerf the weapon into the ground making it not even usable at all but this is still the go-to katana in my opinion but tell me where you guys rank these thank you so much if you watched all the way through if you did comment ice cream on your way out it would seriously help me if you left a like and a sub make sure you guys check my channel for the Elden ring dlc because as soon as there's any news on the game you already know i'm gonna be covering it because i'm still making cuts on this game a year later thank you guys so much for watching this my name is prez and other than that i'm out bruh peace